Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. This time taking a look at some of the best builds you can make for the HK416 Assault Rifle in the 12.9 patch, covering the simple budget build all the way up to the best in slot meta recoil setup. These builds have been pretty heavily requested down in the comments section on other videos, so here they are, complete with the rebalanced attachments and new pricing in the 12.9 patch. The 416 is similar to the M4 in a lot of ways, with the same ammo and mags and even using many of the same attachments, though with a few important differences. Differences. First, the fire rate is higher. Not by much, but just enough to make a difference in close range fights where that extra bullet can mean the difference between life and death. The second major difference is that the 416, at least in Tarkov currently, has a lot fewer options for variety in your builds, and a lot less parts to change out and upgrade. Despite this, or maybe because of it, the 416 is one of the most used weapons for high level PvP in the entire game. And the top tier builds in particular have amazing stats and really work quite well. So with that intro out of the way, let's get started with the builds, beginning with a fairly simple setup to improve the stats that doesn't need any parts from high level traders. To start any of these builds off, I recommend you get a 416 off the flea market for around 60,000 to 70,000 rubles, which is already kind of expensive. The 416 is not the most budget friendly weapon for many reasons, beginning with that high base price tag. In addition, the most important attachments for the HK are the longer barrels and some of the most expensive suppressors in the entire game. That being said, this first build is just my take on a simple, relatively low budget 416 setup that makes use of the default 14.5 inch barrel and handguard. To start off, we'll go from the muzzle device, beginning with the Surefire SF3P Compensator. This part is not too expensive and lets you add the Surefire RC2 suppressor which you can find on the market for about 30,000 rubles. You can also replace this with the KAC QD Compensator and NT4 suppressor combo for the same stats, so I recommend checking the price of both options on the flea market and picking the cheapest one. Next, the barrel and handguard are just the default parts that come with a normal 416, and it should already have rails for attachments on the handguard. The grip on this build is the Magpul RVG foregrip in the FDE color, which is pretty much the best grip in the game in terms of bang for your buck, even if it is a little bit weird having a tan grip on a black gun. I've also got the X400 flashlight as my tactical device, which I'll be including in the price of all of these builds so I don't have to repeat myself. For the sight, I like to use the Cobra Reflex Sight and the Shade for most of my budget builds, just because of the low price and the small ergonomics boost from this sight. The last part that I swap out for this basic build is the stock, switching the default part out for the MFT BUS stock from Peacekeeper Level 3. When this build is all put together, you get 64 vertical recoil and about 50 total ergonomics for a total cost of around 125,000 rubles. Like I said earlier, the HK is not really a budget friendly rifle in Tarkov, but this is the most straightforward build I could come up with that uses parts available relatively early in the mid game. Next up for the 416 builds, we have a mid-tier setup that improves the stats pretty significantly with just a few simple upgrades over the budget build. The 416 starts to dramatically improve in performance when you put on the longer barrels, which are honestly the most important parts on the HK if you want to get low recoil numbers. This build is made from parts that you should have access to at the traders in the mid-game around level 30, though if you find a good flea market price on the barrel, you can put this together a lot earlier, since that's the only important part locked behind level 30. To start this build off, we'll be replacing the barrel for the 16.5 inch 416 barrel, available at mechanic level 3 or on the flea market, where it's often a bit cheaper than it is from the traders. After selling the old barrel back, you spend about 22,000 rubles on this upgrade. For the muzzle device, you want to stick with the same suppressors from the last build, using either the Surefire SF3P and RC2 combo, or the KAC QD Compensator and NT4 suppressor, either of which get you the best stats for the money spent. The grip on this build is also the same as the previous one, using the RVG FDE grip from Peacekeeper Level 3 and attaching it straight on to the default 416 quad rail handguard. Next on this build, the stock has been swapped out for the Magpul MOE carbine stock with the rubber butt pad attachment, which gets you improved stats in both recoil and ergonomics compared to the MFT BUS stock from the previous build. I've also swapped the pistol grip over to the Hogue rubber grip at Peacekeeper Level 3, which is a very cost-effective ergonomics upgrade for any AR-15 style build. For 
the sight, I've kept the Cobra Reflex sight, but you can swap this out for whatever you prefer. Finally, I've made a few additions strictly to improve ergonomics, starting with a pair of Defiance Iron Sights and then a Raptor Charging Handle as well, which gets you 4 extra ergonomics total. When this is all put together, you're looking at 51 vertical recoil and about 60 ergonomics, for a total cost of around 165,000 rubles. As you can see, it's a pretty significant upgrade for both recoil and ergonomics, without spending a ton of extra cash on the build. I would actually say this is a pretty cost effective setup, and it's also very simple to put together so you aren't spending too much time making every build. For the final builds in this video, I'll be going over the top tier lowest recoil setups for the HK, which are kind of infamous for being the go-to weapons of PvP focused players who crank the tryhard dial all the way up to 11. With a combination of high fire rate, great ammo selection, and amazing stats all around, a meta 416 loadout can just mow down the competition at pretty much any range without much of a drawback besides the high price tag. That being said, you are looking at nearly 300,000 rubles for the true best in slot build, and even my more balanced option is about 280,000. Greatness comes at a price, and if you aren't independently wealthy in Tarkov, the 416 is going to eat up your bank account pretty fast. First up, the most important part for this whole build is the 20-inch HK416 barrel, which is sold by Mechanic Level 4 at a pretty steep price tag of over 40,000 rubles. It's expensive, but it also cuts your recoil down by a lot, and it's the only barrel that works with any of the top-tier handguards, which is very unfortunate in my opinion. Once you swap the barrel, the next step is the suppressor, which, you guessed it, is ridiculously expensive. First, you need the Blackout 51T Flash Hider, which then allows you to attach the SDN6 suppressor, which which is around 75,000 rubles both from the traders or on the flea market. With this combo you get a massive recoil reduction and a fairly substantial muzzle velocity boost, so if you can afford it, it's definitely worth the money. Next up, the new best in slot handguard on the 416 is the Crux 15 inch M-Lock handguard, which gets you best in slot recoil and a good ergonomics bonus as well. There's a few other options here, like the MRS handguard, but this one is all around the best in game currently. You'll need to add a pair of M-Lock rails for attachments, and then you need to pick your foregrip. For the current meta, I would honestly advise using the Fortis Shift foregrip over the more recoil focused RK1 or RK2 grips, simply because the extra 1-2 to two recoil points aren't worth the extra cost and the huge ergonomics penalty. Next, you want to swap the pistol grip over to the Grawl S pistol grip, which is the current best in slot ergonomics boost for the AR-15 style rifles. For the sight, you can use the Cobra for a cheap option, or upgrade to something like this EOTech hollow sight or even a magnified scope, but keep in mind that this will increase your total build cost. For the stock on this build, you have two main options for the best in slot parts. First, my recommendation would be to use the MOE carbine stock and a rubber butt pad attachment. This setup is a pretty decent price and has the most balanced stats of all the stocks available, with good recoil and ergonomics all in one package. If you want the true lowest recoil setup though, you can go for the Magpul PRS Gen 3 stock, but this only nets you one extra recoil point for almost double the price. Finally, the finishing touches on the build include a Defiance rear sight and the Avalanche Mod 2 charging handle, both of which improve the overall ergonomics. When this build is put together, you're looking at 37 recoil and about 60 ergonomics, for a total price of around 280,000 rubles. If you opted for the lowest recoil attachments that I mentioned instead, you end up with 33 recoil and about 40 ergonomics for around 310,000 rubles total. Either of these setups are definitely viable, but personally I really prefer the more balanced approach, swapping 4 recoil points for 20 extra ergonomics. Before I wrap up this section, I just want to quickly go over a sort of budget approach to the meta HK build, which takes off 80,000 rubles from the total cost at the expense of some recoil points. The first and most important change in terms of price is to swap the suppressor for the Surefire SF3P and RC2 combination from the previous builds, which is about half the cost for only a few less points of recoil. Next, you can swap the handguard over to the extended quad rail handguard from Mechanic Level 3, which already has rails attached. The grip is swapped over to the Magpul RVG grip which only loses a few points of ergonomics compared to the shift. For the pistol grip, you want to use the HG15 pistol grip at mechanic level 4, which is a late game budget option. Finally, the last parts are the MOE stock and rubber butt pad, the Defiance iron sights, and the same avalanche charging handle used in the meta build. 
With these changes, you end up with 45 recoil and about 55 ergonomics for a total cost of around 200,000 rubles. It doesn't have quite the same low recoil numbers, but I find this build to be a lot easier on the wallet and still pretty much just as effective. Well, that about covers it for my take on builds for the HK416 in Escape from Tarkov, updated for the 12.9 patch. Compared to some other weapons, the 416 didn't really see too many changes to the overall builds, except for the suppressor, handguard, and the best choice for the stock. In any case, I hope these builds work well for you if you decide to give them a try, and as always, let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video, I've got links to my Twitch stream, Discord server, and Patreon page down below for anyone interested, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.